let's see how we can run workflows using GitHub Actions. So I have some small project um, in my GitHub repositories, uh, which is basically using some uh, using Firestore emulator and includes some tests using Jest. And in fact, I have some blog posts about it. In case you want to check, uh, you can. I will put the link in the description. Um, developer timeline IO and how to run Jest in GitHub Actions with Firestore. So I will just going to give some uh, snack peek of this blog uh, blog post, but also like demonstrate um, introduction part of how to run workflows using GitHub Actions. I think it's um, I think it's a great example of uh, for beginners who are not familiar with GitHub Actions. Okay, so I git cloned this repository already, and the first thing I want to do is create a new folder named .github, and inside it I will create another directory named workflows. So that is the directory where I'm going to store my workflows. And the first thing, the first workflow I want to create is a linting, basically to check if we have any syntax issues or something that can easily get out our, our site and instead of running this you know linting checks in pre-commit hooks i prefer to run it in ci cd environment uh, especially if you are pushing commits uh, frequently i think ci cd environment is ideal place for that cool so um let's add our configurations for that one so, um, to be honest, the, the YAML file is, um, the workflows are configured by YAML file and the configuration is like a really simple, the, how to say, this structure is very well defined and it's, it's self-explanatory. So let's go through it. We are basically saying that on pull request, which needs to be changed. So let's say each Push, uh, each commit we pushed to a specific branch, which uh, in this case is YouTube branch. Each time we push any commit to YouTube branch, we want to run this uh, linting workflow. So we are going to, uh, yeah, we are saying on push branch, and the branch name is going to be YouTube. So yeah, uh, each time we made any uh, commit to that branch run these jobs and what are the jobs is basically um, it's uh, yeah we are giving a job a uh, name a linting and it will run on Ubuntu latest and yeah it's going to use github actions so github actions is like uh, github hosted runners which will check out to our branch and run the steps that we define. In our case, it's going to be install npm package and then simply run linting. And we already have slint configured for that project. I think it's included here as well, right? Yeah, uh, lint is there. And yeah, that's it. The only thing uh, I, okay, so never mind. Uh, it, will, it will make things even more complicated. Uh, let's run it, add the change, and get commit added linting workflow, and git push. Cool, let's navigate to our actions, and yeah, we already see that uh, our workflow started to run. Let's go inside it to see the, to see the steps. And yeah, it's now installing the npm package and the next thing is going to be run uh, npm run lint. Um, hopefully there will be not any errors in the code, so everything will be pass. Um, cool, the workflow succeeded. We don't have any issues there, but uh, just for um, illustration proposes I just want to make some um, 
some linting issue to catch in uh, to catch it in workflow. So let's say I have missing semicolon in that file, okay? And I'm just going to remove this fix flag because Slint automatically uh, handles the change. Okay, now let's commit again. Mm, what we can write? Add syntax issue. Okay, and git push. Probably this is the weirdest commit I ever seen. Add syntax issue. But never mind. <laughs> Refresh the workflows and here we go. So this time the workflow probably will fail because we have issues in the code. We can prove it by running uh, npm run lint locally and one errors. Okay, so the same result should should appear there. And yeah, yeah, that's it. The workflow failed as expected. Okay, um, let's revert these changes. So basically, yeah, we have running workflow which checks uh, which checks linting for our code. And in the beginning of video, I said that we have some um, tests in this in this project, and which uh, which is uh, written by Jest. And we also want to add this workflow because we want to make sure that our tests are passing before deploying to production, right? So let's add another. Uh, another workflow and let's name it test okay test yaml and the configuration is going to be similar as linting and uh, just a few differences um, okay so same on push on push the branch um, YouTube And yeah, whenever we made uh, uh, whenever we make any comment to YouTube branch, it will run tests by um, yeah, it will run the runner is we are defining the runner is going to be Ubuntu latest and the timeout minutes, which means that if workflow exceed uh, ten minutes, it will just automatically uh, fail. And then the runners will check out our branch and start the containers which in our case it's docker containers you see we have some dependency on that project uh, the firestore emulator running in docker containers uh, it's basically uh, required for running tests because we are making some database operations inside it and uh, yeah after containers are up we are installing node.js uh, version 16 and uh, installing all npm packages, all the dependencies, and simply running tests. And at the very end, finally, um, turning the containers off. Okay, so let's add this change as well. And you know what? Um, okay, let's add this change as well. I'm just finally, after this one, going to show you one more step. Um, cool, so we have both workflows ready. Let's push some comments. Um, we are going to say that added and test tests workflow. And git push. Navigate to GitHub. My voice is a bit cracking. I'm thinking I'm, I will get sick soon. I wish I not, but anyway. Um, so yeah, what's happening? Uh, yeah, only only linting started. Let's see why. Um, we said that on push branch YouTube. Maybe it's going to start after that. No. Okay. Let's go back to our branch to see if our workflow even there. Workflows and test. Yeah, it's there. Hmm. Oh, it's running. Okay. There's some delay maybe. Add tests workflow. 
let's go inside the workflow okay so it's all it's already started the containers docker containers firestore emulator is running which was uh, required for running just tests and at the moment it's installing the dependencies this one npm install and yeah that's all running tests hopefully everything will pass and great everything passed and finally we are turning off the docking containers let's refresh it to see that green green indicator that our workflow passed please cool that's it so both our workflows passed